have you been? How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm back, it's been a week. So just to let you know, I've been posting my videos on Mondays, but I've decided to change the posting days to Tuesdays because as you might have noticed from some of my videos, I've been traveling quite a bit during the weekends. So I find it much harder to work during the weekends and to also just be there, be present with friends and family. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting on Tuesdays instead. So it kind of just blends perfectly into my week into my work week. So I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm back today with an Ask Me Anything video. So I posted on my Instagram. I posted on my Instagram yesterday to say, guys, if you have any questions you wanna ask me, send them over and I'm gonna answer um, the ones I find appropriate. <laughs> I'm doing this because this is my 20th video on YouTube and I'm so happy that I have made 20 videos. If you'd asked me, I don't know, I guess two years ago, if I would be here right now making my 20th YouTube video, I'd be pretty skeptical about it. So I'm very proud of that fact. Also, I hope you can appreciate the background vibe. I just wanted to bring some summer, some beach, some water, and just calming cool um, energy to this video. Um, also because it's been so cold in Nairobi, you guys. It's been so cold. Even now, I'm wearing like I'm wearing like a sweater dress. So you can see some of it. So I'm wearing a sweater dress, but I've also got like leggings <laughs> and socks and down here it's very casual, basically. Anyway, so let's get to the video. You guys asked some questions and I'm gonna answer them. Some of you didn't really ask questions but sent um, just comments or compliments and I super appreciate it so I'll still mention that as I go. The first question I got was such an interesting and funny question because someone asked me if I ever get, if I've ever experienced, wait let me just read it. I wrote them down on this uh, because I can't really use my phone and uh, film at the same time. So somebody asked me, she was, she was called Kenya Girl, um, she asked me if I have ever experienced makeup transfer and what I do about it. Um, and then she hashtagged interracial couple. So, I mean, I guess that's because I've mentioned my husband is Belgian, he's a white guy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so she was wondering if I ever had makeup transfer. And I've actually heard about that being a thing. Um, I personally have only experienced it once. Or I guess if you say makeup in general, if you mean makeup in general, including lipstick, yeah, but that's like everyone would have the same experience, regardless of your race or complexion. Um, but I have, I did have it for the first time, I remember on the wedding, because when we were posing for photos, sometimes we'd be really close, like cheek to cheek and stuff like that. He, he basically got some of the foundation transferred onto his nose, which is so crazy, because when you notice like when that happens, you, you really notice the stark difference between your complexion. So that's the one time it happened on my wedding because I had a full face of makeup, you know, and they layer it on because they want you to be picture perfect and picture ready. So, sorry guys, man, my, my nose is getting a little wet from the cold. Yeah, so basically that's the first time it happened. Um, but usually I don't have that issue or that doesn't occur for me because... I guess because I hardly put on makeup in the first place. So like now because I'm filming, I'm making a video, this is when I put on some foundation. And even then I guess I put quite a thin layer of foundation. So like I was saying, the chances of transfer are really low because I hardly wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm out and about. I'll usually just do my eyebrows, do some eye makeup, and maybe put on a lipstick or a lip gloss, but I'll hardly put any makeup on my face except for um, a face cream and sunscreen. So I think it's just nicer to take care of your skin. Um, also, I take an hour to get ready. Don't ask me what I do, but somehow it takes me an hour to get ready when all I do is dress up and do my eye makeup and that's it. <laughs> or my hair sometimes. The hair does take a little bit of time. So to you, um, no, I haven't really experienced it, but I guess it's just good to be aware. Um, if you do put on lots of makeup or you put on enough makeup to transfer to somebody's somebody else's skin then that could also happen to um, a partner even if they're not white if they're black if they're in asian or whatever so i guess it's just better to be aware because or it could even transfer on people's clothes so maybe your partner is dressed in white and then you know the, your makeup someone gets onto onto their clothes 
so yeah, I guess it's just good to be to be conscious of how you could affect someone else. Somebody just said they love my new stream and thank you, I also love it. <laughs> it's really um, yeah, one of those things that kind of expresses my personality, I guess, in a very understated but, but obvious way. So yeah, I do love my new stream. Thank you for saying that. Somebody else asked, knowing what you know now, what would you do differently with your wedding day? Hmm. Knowing what I know now. Honestly, my first thought is, and as I said in the wedding update video, I just really thought the day was such a beautiful, simple, intimate day. And in so many ways, it replicated what I'd always imagined in my head to be the kind of wedding I would want. Maybe I would have been more plush in some ways, you know, like, um, I'd have gone bigger, I guess, with the decor. I would have kept it simple still, because I, I like that aesthetic of just white on green. So just the leaves and a bit of candles. And So I've always liked that kind of outdoors, simple aesthetic. I remember even last year when we were planning to have our wedding in Belgium, we were gonna do it in a garden and I already had like some, some pins, uh, or yeah, some pins on Pinterest. And a lot of them were just flowers and greens and a bit of, you know, mood lighting like candles or lanterns and that sort of thing so in that sense especially given the amount of time I had to prep and get everything together I really don't think there's anything I would change I guess if, if I had control of the weather I would have made it so that it didn't rain at all because yeah that was kind of the, the little bummer we had uh, during the day was that you know, it started to rain just, I guess, about 10 minutes after we sat down. So we didn't really get to enjoy the table that we'd set up. And it made quite a mess, honestly, because we had uh, white tablecloths, which had been hired for the day. And we had candles on them and the greens. And people had started to bring their food in. So we were just on the first course and we were all having soup. And some people's soup got spilled on it and rain and rain on the candles splashed the candle wax onto the table so yeah that was like a little disaster but usually i hear that weddings don't go perfectly so i guess i have nothing to complain about it kind of went it went as if not as well as i imagined it would maybe even better yeah and everything else that i did in terms of what i wore what my husband wore um, my friends being there the ones who made it it was just beautiful. So yeah, I don't think I would change much about the day. Somebody asked me, how did you meet your husband? Well, I met him, it was very interesting how it happened and it makes me believe that we were actually meant to meet because I was working for an international organization at the time and I was doing the comms there. So we had to make a few documentaries and we traveled to Malawi for that. And he happened to be stationed there at the time. He'd been there for quite a few years. And I basically met him, I would say by mistake, <laughs> if that makes any sense. We were basically going to shoot something with a partner organization based in Malawi. He wasn't working for them, but he had interacted with them in some, in some scenarios. He was helping them to kind of incorporate part of his expertise in some of the programs there. And so I remember we basically needed an extra drone. It was it was basically a documentary about drones um, in humanitarian aid, and I remember asking those guys because back then in Kenya the rules about drones were really really strict, so we couldn't fly through the airport with a drone. It was not allowed. So we basically tried to get someone with a drone on the other side, so we could get footage of basically a drone flying underneath <laughs> a drone shooting a drone, and. Um, so these guys called him last minute and, and he was going to help out with that. And then when we started talking, I realized, wow, he's really, really good at, you know, what he's doing. He has lots of knowledge and he has a really very clear way of disseminating this knowledge. And I remember even the lady who was the videographer at the time suggested that, that we interview him as well. So it wasn't part of the plan, but we ended up interviewing, or rather I ended up interviewing him. So I was the one who was asking the questions and I was behind the camera and he would look at me and answer them. And that's our first interaction ever. So it's basically recorded. We have the first day that we met on record, but it's not on my record because <laughs> it belongs to the company I used to, or the organization I used to work for. So that's how I met and then eventually we reconnected. Uh, about a 
few months later in 20, early 2018, 20, yeah, early 2018 we reconnected and the rest is history as they say. Uh, somebody asked me to do a natural hair maintenance video. I'm gonna think about that. So that's not really a question, it's a request. And yeah, I'm gonna think about it because I've been natural for more than four years now. So yeah, why not? I'm still working on my routine. I have some kind of system, it works for me. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite comfortably natural. So I'm gonna think about making that video, Lily. So the final question was, <laughs> this is funny. The final question was, what did your husband do best to make you fall for him. Hmm. I don't think it's so much about what he did rather than who he was or is. So I just remember, and it's funny because I was having a conversation with my friend a while afterwards and I told her how if I was gonna be with someone, I wanted to be with someone who was kind and that's really a big, big part of who he is. He just has this kind, gentle nature, which I find very attractive. <laughs> he's somewhere in the kitchen. Shh. Yeah, so he's just very kind and very gentle and very generous. And, um, it's really mostly because, I don't know, when I met him, I just had this feeling. So I just think we had a natural, deep connection. And I remember the first time I met him, when we were doing that shoot, he showed up in this big UN car. <laughs> and then I was just like, hmm, who's that cute? Long guy. At some point, you know, because comms, you kind of do a little bit of everything. So when I wasn't giving people uh, uh, forms to sign, get to giving us consent, basically to make videos with their faces in them, I was taking pictures and that sort of thing. So while I was in just the middle of doing some stuff, he just came by and started chatting with me. And I remember feeling like a feeling of butterflies in my stomach and just thinking, oh, that's odd. I haven't ever had that sort of experience before. Didn't think too much of it, but interestingly, we kept in touch the whole time from the moment we met. And then eventually when he came to Nairobi, we went on a date, um, I think about, he was here on a Sunday and we went on a date on a Tuesday. And we'd been talking from the Sunday that he arrived. And eventually, um, yeah, I just remember being at this date and talking to him and like seeing him, you know, like really seeing, really connecting with him and just feeling this very, surreal feeling of something special there's something special here and yeah it's like i just knew immediately and i think it was a mutual feeling we both just immediately knew that we were meant to be together here we are we're married <laughs> it's been fun answering your questions thank you everyone who sent your questions i posted these on my instagram so for the next time maybe i'll be putting out a poll for questions or whatever that I can incorporate into my videos. You can follow me on Instagram at Sheila Bet, um, so you can keep in touch and also ask any questions that you might have. Well, until next time, I hope you guys have a lovely week and I'll see you next week.